there are few features in excel pivot table which many of you might not have tried before in this video i am going to cover one of those features associated with pivot table i am going to show you how to add a running total in a pivot table i will also show you how to add a percentage running total in the pivot table first let us create the pivot table so this is the source data for my pivot table so I'll click on one of the cells click on insert pivot table from table range create the pivot table in a new sheet pivot table is empty pivot table is created click on invoice date click on revenue drag the revenue to the values so right click expand and their fields expand and their fields <coughs> i'll remove the quarters so now my pivot table is ready with uh, year wise breakup and month wise breakup of the revenue so now my objective is to add a running total to the right of this right side of this pivot table so for that so i will drag this revenue once again to the values so it created sum of revenue so i'll click on this drop down so it added the it added a copy of the sum of revenue here so so i'll first rename this sum of revenue by clicking on drop down value field settings the first field so instead of that i will type revenue so let's see what happen will it allow no because the pivot table already has a revenue column so here it already has a revenue column but so i have to still create the column name as revenue so i what i will do i will add a space uh, press the space bar so add a space at the end of revenue then it will accept because revenue without space and revenue with space are two different strings for excel so i'll click okay so now this got renamed as revenue so now i will click on the second revenue field i'll click on the drop down click on value field settings i will rename it as cumulative revenue i am in there are two tabs here summarize values by which is shown here there is another tab show values as so click on this tab and there is a show values as drop down so i'll click on this drop down i will scroll down and there is a running total in i'll select this click on this running total in so i want the running total in invoice date so i'll select the invoice date and click on okay so let's see what happens see the cumulative it got renamed to cumulative revenue and instead of this uh, displaying the revenue it started displaying the cumulative revenue see so this is 33,70,877 so the cumulative here this value is 33,70,877 so it started showing the cumulative revenue now my next objective is to add a percentage cumulative revenue here to the right so for that i will drag the revenue field again and move it to values so again it created a sum of revenue so i'll click on this drop down click on value field settings i will say rename it as percentage cumulative revenue so again i will click on the show value as tab from the show value as drop down list i will select scroll down there is a percentage total in so again i'll select invoice date click on okay so it started showing the percentage cumulative revenue so here you notice one thing the cumulative revenue and the percentage cumulative revenue it uh, gets reset when it goes to 2019 it got all the values got reset and it started again from uh, the first month of january and then did a cumulative revenue and it's showing the cumulative revenue here <coughs> 
so for each year it breaks the cumulative total so this is how you add the percentage cumulative revenue so january the cumulative revenue is 11.16 percent so that means 11.16 percent of 33 lakh 70,877. In February, 15.9 percent of 33 lakh 70,877 revenue, cumulative revenue was generated by February. Like that, in December it achieved the 100 percent. That is 33 lakh 70,877. So now, if I want to show instead of months, I want to show quarters. So here, I will uh, check quarters and I will remove invoice date so it started showing quarter 1 2 3 quarter 1 2 3 for 2 years but all the new columns I added for cumulative and percentage revenue cumulative revenue it started showing errors because the base field was invoice date but now which I changed to quarters so now we have to again reset this value so cumulative revenue I will click on this drop down click on value field settings Click on the show values as tab. So running total instead of invoice date, I will select quarters. Here there is a quarters field. So quarters, click OK. So it it started showing the cumulative revenue quarter wise. Now I have to do the same thing for percentage revenue also. So I will click on the drop down against percentage cumulative revenue. Value field settings, show values as quarters. OK. So that also got reset. So here for 2018, it is showing the cumulative values and 2019 another set of cumulative values. So in quarter one, it, it achieved 23.36% of the total revenue in 2018. And by quarter two, it achieved 48.56. By quarter three, it achieved 76.09%. And quarter four, it achieved 100%. So now, I can group this based on, I group this to show date range. So, and see how this cumulative revenue and personal cumulative revenue is updated against those. So, I will first of all, I will click on this uh, quarter one, one of the cells and then right click, I will do ungroup. So, it will show dates. Now, I will uh, click on one of the cells and I will uh, group it. I will remove the months, I will click on days. And I will show for 40, range of dates for 14, 2 weeks, means 14 days. I will click on OK. So now the pivot table start instead of quarters, it started showing date range. But notice one thing, all these two fields are showing the same data. So for so all this got reset to sum of revenue. So now we have to change it for this date range. So again, I will go to cumulative revenue value field settings show values as so all this is show values is showing no calculation so again i have to scroll down show running total in invoice date so I click on invoice date okay so it started showing cumulative instead of sum of revenue see it started showing cumulative values see now the same thing have to be done in percentage cumulative revenue so if i'll click percentage cumulative revenue value field settings show values as scroll down percentage total in invoice date ok so now it started showing the percentage cumulative values so two point it generated 2.02 percent in the first two weeks of 2018 so 1 1 2018 to 14 1 2018 from second half of the month 15 to 28th it generated cumulatively 4.53 percent. So, like that it goes. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you find the information I shared useful, please like and share the video with your friends. If you did not like the video, please let me know the reasons through comments. Also, please feel free to give improvement suggestions in the comment section that will help me create better videos in future. Thank you once again.